Hello, I'm Dr. Melvin Greer, and welcome to Microsoft Ignite 2023. We are having a great panel assembled here today, and we're going to talk about American Airlines cloud optimization journey around big data with Intel. So why don't we introduce the panel briefly, and then we'll get right into the discussion. Rasika? Sure. Rasika Vaidya, uh, Director of Cloud and Engineering Platforms at American Airlines. Vijay? Hello, Dr. Mel. I am Vijay Prem Kumar, Senior Manager, Cloud and Platform Engineering, American Airlines. Fantastic. And Asif. Hi, Dr. Mel. I'm Asaf Ezra, GM of Intel Granulate. So let's get right to it. So Intel and American Airlines, they've been working together for a while as partners. Uh, Rasika, can you tell me what's the nature of this relationship and how, how have things been going? The travel industry really, uh, you know, has been uh, going through some tough challenges and we have been partnering with Intel for almost uh, 20 plus years now. Uh, Intel has been with us every step of the way whenever we needed them really to, you know, with their combined hardware and software solutions. Fantastic, fantastic. So you mentioned some challenges in the travel industry. Can you give me a little bit more detail about what you've been facing and, you know, what key role has Intel played in trying to help deal with them? Uh, sure. So, um, you know, as, as we are well aware, the travel industry has been going through some ups, ups and downs over the past several years, uh, whether it is bankruptcies, whether it is mergers or even COVID uh, for that matter. Uh, right. So it has really been tough. Uh, what Intel has been uh, doing as a partners is really focusing around, uh, you know, uh, continuing to basically focus on optimizing our application runtimes. Uh, we have um, essentially looked at for the past year, few years at also optimizing our cloud to find efficiencies. Uh, Intel has also been very uh, focused on uh, uh, educating us around the investments that we've already made to maximize cost and performance. I'm excited about the role AI has to play at American Airlines. And uh, Intel has been very proactive uh, in trying to bring us awareness uh, around the solutions that they have in the space of AI. Um, so the opportunities that you know I see at American Airlines around the use of AI are around uh, you know enhancing our customer experience or operationalizing um, the uh, the resiliency of our platforms. Right. Uh, so the opportunities are awesome, um, and we are looking forward to partnering on many such solutions with Intel. You know, Rasika, I was really impressed with that answer. You talked about application optimization. You talked about cost reduction. You talked about development of solutions. No product, no focus on hardware. No, no, definitely. Uh, well, when I, when I talk about, well, we are going to go into some stories here uh, as we continue our discussion on the panel today around the uh, cost optimizations around, um, I would say, the data platform. And, you know, as we go through this, this session, we are going to see a very great story around our partnership with Intel Granulate. Um, but yeah, so again, like I said, Intel has been with us uh, focusing on our business challenges and trying to figure out um, how we can solve them with their combined hardware and software solutions, I would say. Cool, cool. Okay, so, you know, the data center infrastructure is part of the stuff that I know you, you talked a bit about. How is it constructed at American Airlines? And uh, give me a little bit more detail about the data center. Uh, sure. So with the, uh, you know, the, the history with, of American Airlines of almost 100 years, uh, we have a very complex um, uh, architecture for many of our applications, um, whether they reside on prem with a client server architecture or whether uh, they are moving to the cloud uh, on their cloud journey. We are also very heavily reliant on mainframe uh, today, even today. Right. Um, so my team here at uh, American Airlines Cloud and Engineering Platform for the past um, 18 months or so uh, has been really focusing on laying the foundation for cloud center of excellence. Uh, the key priorities uh, for this area have been around cloud governance. Uh, they have been around uh, cloud optimizations and efficiencies. Uh, they have also been around cloud platform innovations. Um, so the 
you know this is the area that we are we are doubling down and focusing on and as you know we go into the session vj in fact can go a little more in detail around our cloud journey especially focusing on uh, big data Oh, that sounds good. So, VJ, let's get you into this discussion. Tell us a little bit more about this cloud activity and the infrastructure in the data center and how, how it's uh, being put together to support American. Definitely, Dr. Mel. From our perspective, our primary objective was to adopt the cloud first in a very efficient way. When I joined the organization, but we focus on innovation. We doubled down our effect on the innovation like Rasika mentioned as part of the cloud platform innovation as part of the CCOE that we launched 18 months ago so that provided me and my team an opportunity to seek out partnership with our application team across american islands work with them understand the core business problems they're trying to solve and then we went to our partners reach out to them hey this is what as american islands our application team want to work on do you have a solution do you have something that we could you know plug in so we brought them to the table with our app teams with our business partners application partners in this case intel and we worked together and that's how in, in the recent years i would say in the last you know 12 18 months when we started this journey when we had a problem with like a basic mention of the cost optimization right so we started with a robust solution in our azure cloud a very you know robust data lake solution built out it grew exponentially it provided the value to our business it created a good ecosystem for application teams to you know have the data because your like is fantastic to serve the workloads in a very siloed uh, distributed dame into a ease for the consumption for the application teams but it came with challenges the challenges was on the cost pressure side So that's when you know uh, in our regular cadence we met with Todd from Intel uh, from a partnership perspective he suggests to look for a softer solution I said great Intel a softer solution okay what is that they said look for granulate a softer solution that could potentially potentially address some of the challenges of facing so that's how the whole you know last 18 months is journey the partnership specific to cloud started Dr Mel That's great. You know, I think it's really cool because software is a very very important part of our AI and, and big data strategy. And so you were introduced to uh, uh, Granulate even before it became an Intel company, right? That's the beauty of the partnership, Dr. Mel. So we never knew there's a company called Granulate exist, right? And uh, it's in our regular cadence when we shared up challenges. See, as customers, you know, we we share the challenges with the business partners, right? In this case, Intel. So Todd, you know, said, "Hey, I hear you. We, as Intel, do not have a solution at this time, but we have a partner program through which a company called Granulate they have this innovative solution. I would bring the team on. You can talk to them and uh, bring your team and see if that fits your needs. So we appreciate that. So we look for partnership like that, right?" So that's a big difference between vendorship and partnership where intel like in this case played a pure partner you know relationship brought in a solution like granulate even before it was an intel company yep so ultimately it became an intel company so as if now as part of intel granulate is a very important part of our solution stack and i heard vj talk about this concept of a data lake is uh, this idea of using a data lake is it common in terms of use cases that granulate actually uh, solves for okay so actually this is a very interesting question dr mel um When we were introduced to American Airlines and VJ uh, by Todd, like VJ mentioned, so he actually brought us on as an optimization, performance optimization company. We focused on the application level optimization, and we helped companies before uh, uh, the introduction reduce costs by actually improving their performance. So we want to focus on efficiency, on the CPU uh, utilization, and try to lower the TCO in general.
Yeah, it's amazing. I know I've worked with granular uh, tools in the past and being able to do those uh, capabilities that you d described in terms of optimization continuously and autonomously really, really makes a difference. So, VJ, tell me, how did this deployment of granular start out and, and, and where has it gone since then? Yeah, so definitely, Dr. Mel. So, like as I mentioned, right, so we pushed them. We literally pushed them to, you know what, this is what we need. Our visions are, you know, like Mount Everest. Come with us. So, ASA brought his A plus team, worked with our engineering team to get the implementation, did the initial POC and all those things and took it to the production. Uh, a great journey. Um, but I would also like to add it here, right? So, when we started this, it was not just Gantlet we were focusing on. So in like any enterprise, when we in this journey of you know bringing a new solution or in a you know POC, we always do a you know the benchmarking you know comparing with other competitors. So in this case, we you know use Granulate and two more solutions in the market and see which is going to provide the best outcome for American Airlines, right? So while we were doing this benchmarking, um, Granulate stood out miles you know ahead of other two solutions we were competing, I mean, we were trying parallelly, right? There are several reasons for that, but I'll pinpoint the top three. Okay, the first one, the core objective went on this journey is to have some optimization on the cost, to reduce our cost pressure that, you know, Rasika and I, you know, spoke about previously, right? So granted, let's solve that problem, check mark. The second was, we were looking for, you know what, while we were observing, you know, within our engineering team and Asaf's engineering team, wow, there's something unexpected outcome we were seeing. The overall licensing usage was getting optimized as well. That was unexpected. And we said, whoa, ho, that's great. Then the third most important thing, right? So like we spoke about partnership, we pressed out on Intel and Anashaf and Granly team. We said, you know, we want only the A plus team work with us. Our time is critical and we have a very, you know, you know, defined objective to get this. So they took our, you know, our challenge to them and they were able to bring the A plus team plug with our team and pretty much non-stop for the last nine, 12 months and they got it. So that to me was very important. You could have a greatest solution, you could have the, you know, the objective met, but when you have a team like Asaf, uh, what he has, bring in the A plus to ensure they go above and beyond what we described. Yeah, so Rasika, what was the uh, impact on the uh, data engineering team? Uh, well, they were, first of all, very excited because they were pressured, uh, you know, into obviously providing the business value while containing the cost. Nobody likes it when, you know, they have to sit in front of uh, senior leaders and explain why the budget is uh, shooting the way it was, right? So in this case, I think the solution was a win-win. Um, they were equally excited as we were as a platform team to bring the solution to them. Wonderful. Well, that's the kind of story that we like. So, Vijay, what's next? What's what's coming next? I mean, you talked about a great deployment. We're still working together because I know I've already got plans to come back down to Dallas with your team. But what's coming next? Yeah, so definitely, Dr. Mal, you've seen our team, work with our team, right? We are eager. We have aspirations and, you know, we are going full full speed on the innovation. So the, the journey continues. So what we achieved in, in the in the cloud data lake solution, it's great. But we have long roads to, you know, uh, pass. First, we have quite a lot of workloads in our Azure cloud, which is, you know, non data lake solutions, right? The second, we still have a good sizable workloads in, in our data centers, in fact, multiple data centers. Third, our you know the biggest growth area in the last you know few months has been in our Kubernetes AKS cluster environment, where we are growing exponentially. So you know I, again you know in our part partnership with Asaf and team, I explained to the this is our future. This is where we are seeing our partnership should continue. So Asaf has uh, been kind enough. Um, so now he has not one set of team working on our data lake. He has put you know three more teams uh, plugged with our engineering team that is working on the non-data lake uh, Azure Cloud uh, POC, then in the data center uh, POC, and also AKS uh, you know Kubernetes in a workspace. So uh, thanks for Asaf for able to again 
you know stand up to what we are setting as a high benchmark demanding more and is able to deliver it Doc, tell me, what does this opportunity really represent for Granulate and for, for your teams that are now involved with American, especially as it relates to, you know, the optimizations that's coming as a result of the Kubernetes containers? So I think if you look at it from Intel Granulate's perspective, this is exactly uh, how the partnership was set up. And this is how it's been deemed term, long term. Like Vijay said, he had a vision of what he wants to see in his infrastructure. And we are the ones that are helping him uh, bring that to life. And I think uh, being the partner of choice through Intel, even before we were an Intel company, has made it possible because Groundlate is an agent-based solution. So even if, though you don't need to make any code changes, you do need the trust. So that's what Intel brought. I think American Airlines brought a really wide vision of what they want to see across the infrastructure, across different workloads. And with Kubernetes being probably the most prevalent workload in the cloud, this is something that Granite should venture into. And not just uh, because American Airlines is pushing, but because it's the right thing to do when you modernize your workloads. And so Granite should be there. Intel should be there. Same goes for the data lake. But I think the partnership itself spends a lot beyond that because Software for Intel is a major part of the strategy, and we're seeing that across security, we're seeing that across AI, and I think this should be uh, uh, the governing factor for this partnership. How American Airlines and Intel are taking all three to the front line and being the pioneer of how to make this at the scale of a company like American Airlines with the scale and optimizations that a company can, like Intel can bring. Yeah, I agree with you. Software is key to our overall strategy. So that's really, really important. And I love the idea that you mentioned around trust as part of the partnership. It really does make a difference. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Mel. And uh, first of all, uh, it's a big privilege for me to be on this panel with Asaf, uh, with Dr. Mel, and Rosika, my leader and my mentor. And uh, like, I want to you know, bring this as a closure to focus on three anchoring points that we discuss in this panel. First, we all talked about the innovation, the optimization solution. Second, we talked about the, the overall cloud journey, right? The third, we talked about also on the how it's the partnership expands in multiple angles, right? It's not just a solution. But there's one thing I want to emphasize. There's one thing I want to emphasize. It's about the human factor. So what we discuss here is, is about technology, about solutions. None of those is possible. None of those is possible if we do not have the right partnership, which is basically comes from the human factor. So that is uh, paramount to the success. So while we talk through that, I also now anchor on the other important point, the vision, the journey, right? It's very important that the, the vision what Rasika and I set for organization is, I want to call an our vision statement. Innovate like a startup, scale like an enterprise. I'm going to repeat this. Innovate like a startup, scale like an enterprise. So we all know in a startup, you have a small team, they have, you know, seeded money, they go, you know, with uh, 60, 80 hours, come with new solutions and uh, begin to the market. Great. But in enterprise like us, to get in a solution, it has to go through the whole nine yard of, you know, POC, testing, validation, vendor management, finance, budget, and all those things, right? So what we were able to do in A in the last 18 months under Rasika's leadership is, is never done before. It's a paradigm shift. It's a game changer. We're able to bring in as many as close to five new innovation solutions into American Airlines in the last 12 to 18 months at the speed, at the quality, are the agility never done before. That's the testament to the team we have, that's testament to the you know leadership we have, that's testament to the vision we have, and how we are taking the future. And to that, we need partners like Intel and Garnelate. Thank you, Intel and for being a partner of, you know, trust on that and working with us every day and uh, on this 
Thanks a lot. You know, I really appreciate that the points that you made, VJ. And I want to thank all the panelists, including uh, I want to thank Microsoft for allowing us to share this really great story of the partnership that they, along with Intel and Granulate, share with American Airlines.